What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another Walking Dead video for the ones who live. Here we are, only a few mere days away from the end of uh, this series, at least as far as we know, uh, that we've been waiting for for a few years. And I just want to do another theory video that I think of what we could see or what possible parts certain characters could play in the end of this series or season, whatever it happens to be. And today I wanted to cover Pearl Thorne who is played by Leslie Ann Brandt, who has been in a slew of other shows. One of the ones that really comes to mind that I've watched in its entirety a couple of times is Lucifer, where she played the demon Mazikeen. And in this one, we get to see a completely different side of her acting, which I've really enjoyed and seen kind of uh, where she lies as far as loyalty to CRM, where she lies with Rick. And uh, we got to see parts of their relationship, friendship, whatever you want to call it, form and have a little bit of a uncertainty in the middle of it too where the last time we saw thorn was uh after she had just gotten promoted and she got the echelon briefing so she's in the know of what's going on with the crm what their plans are and what they just in general how they're going to operate kind of in the further the deeper regions of their operation and so um as far as she knows that Rick is dead, but she's going to find out otherwise in this next episode that is the finale. And I really think that she is going to be torn in what to do. Now, we can say that, yes, she's 100% CRM, and I can see that too because she she got that briefing and she was just completely changed by it. And she went on to say as much to Rick that it, you didn't see what I see, you didn't hear what I heard. And just the way that she was, it's like she was shaken to her core about what she believed before and maybe about what she believed about the CRM because she was also kind of in Rick's shoes there for a minute where she was really trying to get out. She even tried to kill Okafor, but this is also upon the first meeting. But she was a rebel in a sense, just like Rick, where he did not want to be there. He tried multiple times to get out, and Okafor, just like for him, did the same for Thorn. And so she was really also kind of in the same boat with Rick up until she got this briefing where she was completely turned after that. And she believed in what they were doing and so much that she was willing to kill Michonne because she saw her as a threat to what Rick could accomplish and what he could bring to the CRM. Well, uh, I think that's going to change. I think her chances anyways are 50-50. And uh, with that too, when she sees that Rick is still alive and he makes the claim that he is the lone survivor of this helicopter crash that this other woman that was causing her problems is now gone because she knew her as Dana, she's going to probably more than likely ask in very much detail, are you sure she's dead? Is she really gone? This and that. Because it was very clear that she did not like her, she did not trust her, and she was willing to kill her to make that point up until Rick stepped in because he would, without saying it, he was letting Thorne know that this woman is important to me other than the fact that he told her when he brought her in that she had saved his life. But he was he was never completely honest with her about who she was because he feared that Thorne would probably turn her in, that she would go against any kind of loyalty that she had to Rick and get rid of this woman because she was a threat and she could clearly see that she was an A versus the B that she went under the guise of being to get into the CRM in the first place. But upon that, when we get into this finale, I think that Pearl will question it. She will wonder, is this woman really still out there and is she alive? And she will probably not 100% trust Rick, which makes sense. I mean, why would you? But but I don't think she's going to stop there. She's going to take the matters into her own hands. She's going to investigate. She's going to be keeping an eye out. And with this scene that we see from the trailer for the finale where she's out in the woods, I think this is part of that investigation or upon maybe discovering Michonne or them trying to get out. But I also want to believe, too, that we could see her lend some sort of assistance to Rick and Michonne to get out. And I think there's that possibility. I think it's kind of there in the 50-50 chance where we could see her get out, even to the point of maybe getting herself killed to get them out. Because it's revealed to her that this is Michonne. This is Rick's wife. This is the person or one of the people that he spent years trying to get out of the CRM to get home to. And this may strike a chord with her where she could see this as, what if it were her? What if she had the chance to be reunited with the people that she lost in South Africa, that she tried to get back home to herself? And I think that this could kind of tug on her heartstrings a little bit where she's like, 
okay, I'm going to help you get out, or she's going to make a last-minute decision to get them out, but in turn gets herself killed. Because I don't think she'll make it through this. I don't think that we'll see her after this. If they do, in fact, do a second season, I would be surprised if we did. But that's just kind of where my opinion lies. I think her loyalty and the chances of her getting killed are both 50-50, where she does have some sense of loyalty to Rick. She did see him as a friend, and she went as far to say that she saw him as family, where she wanted to move up the ranks with him. She wanted them to build something. She did kind of believe in Okafor's vision, but when she got that briefing, that kind of changed too, where she was not on board with what he was originally planning. And I think probably there's some fear that was instilled in her with this too, because we have not seen what Beale is actually capable of. And I think we're going to see that in this finale too. If uh, he dies, it would kind of be dumb. It would be all for nothing, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think he's going to live. And there's the big theory out there, and I've covered it in multiple videos, and I've seen additional videos about it that we are very worried about Michonne. I know a lot of people are kind of skeptical about the idea of her getting killed, but then again, this could be Denai Guerrero's way to get out of it, where she has actively pursued other things. We know that she's big into the Marvel world now, and she's probably got other things that she wants to do, but she has to know, too, that we want to see her in this. We want to see this come to a proper close where everybody goes home. But that is just kind of the big thing right now. But along with that, uh, again, I think Thorne's chances are 50-50. And uh, she still may end up being a reason, or at least a partial reason, that they get away. Maybe both of them, maybe just one of them. But I think the chance is still there. And we'll get to see this whole different side of Thorne, this super loyal side, the super understanding and everything, where she is just like Rick. She has this dark side where she's capable of a lot of things but i think that she could also be capable of great things as far as really seeing the emotional side of it really understanding where they're coming from that they just want to get home to their kids but uh, anyways that's just a quick little video i want to do about pearl thorn i'm excited to see what we could see from her in this last episode but i don't think she'll make it past it but anyways if you enjoyed that video if you enjoyed my thoughts about it please be sure to leave a like leave a comment and of course subscribe to the channel for more walking dead content just like this so anyways, guys, I will uh, catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.